All right, you guys have all been asking for the uh, PC Fun ICX Carbon review, and I have it paired with a Wild Series 30 inch medium heavy Shakespeare rod. This is 10 pound suffix ice line, and I have a eight pound leader on it. And one of the reasons I bought this was because it has this magnetic drag system, or magnetic, not drag, but it's magnetic release system. So there's a tiny little adjustment screw there. And what that does is you can dial in the weight so you don't get any backlash. Um, right now I have a, I think it's a one fifth ounce, basically a seven millimeter tungsten jig, which I use for crappies, Lakers, all sorts of stuff, if you guys can see that. So how to use this is you basically dial that in. And then what I like about this reel is you can either trigger it forward and that's full un unlock. I'm going to dial this in more, increase the power. Basically, it pushes the magnets forward, which creates more tension on the on the reel, so it doesn't backlash as much. You can also drag it back, and it'll automatically click. And you can also just tap it forward, and that will also release it. So I like all of that, and I really want to love this reel, but I don't love it. I, I like it, but I don't love it. Especially with braid on it, it is it is hard to dial in because of ice gets all caught up in literally every little hole in this thing. It gets caught up on the ice outside, it gets caught up on all these ridges and stuff like that. It looks super cool, but braid or any kind of line gets stuck to that surface. It's kind of like clinging and textured. It gets stuck to there and it's just an absolute nightmare. I should be using more of like a, a four pound test line just straight mono just for crappies, but I, I, I might be using the reel a little bit wrong, but it seems to be working well for when it is nice and warm. So I, I wanna love it, but I just like it. I'm giving it one thumbs up out of two, basically. Um, and it is around, let me check the price on it again. It's a $65 reel. I bought it for $10 off, I think on uh, Black Friday, Black Friday deals. Um, and we did just, and one of the other reasons I bought it was because of the drag. It says 11 pound max drag. Do you guys think that this little drag system in here can do 11 pounds? Well, it can't. We just tested it on a pull test, straight pull test on a on two different scales, and it came out between 2.4 pounds and 2.6 pounds of drag pull, which is just not even close to the marketed drag pull. So I, I don't know, I'm reading the specs right now. You guys can see that max drag is 11 pounds um, or five kilograms. It, it's not even close to that. But I will have to say that the reel is nice and smooth. So like I said, I'm gonna give it one thumbs up out of two. I'm gonna do this. Um, it's an okay reel. I might try something else for Lakers. That, that drag system is way too low for anything that is big. And we just had a gigantic fish came, come in um, and it would have just taken forever to reel that fish in with that drag. So that's my review. I've been using it for the last, uh, since the middle of December, or actually, since January 1st, I've been using the whole month of January, and I'm probably gonna take the braid off and run straight mono, and I'll probably like the reel a lot more. But for those sensitive bites, you really wanna run braid, depending on how deep you're fishing. Well, thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Review of the ICX Carbon by PC Fun.